day 108. Today is going to be less work, but it's more important. Um, I'm going to pressure test the propane piping and make sure there's no leaks to make sure it's good. Set up the recording. Uh, but do the EcoTemp L10 just so I know later on that it'll work and this is a temporary connection. But I just want to make sure for now. And I'm going to go do the bottom part, the last little bit, and then I get to do the pressure test. I'm back what I did is I bought a pressure test gauge and a three-fourths to one half connection and I'm getting ready to put it on my piping right down here I didn't record well because the sound honestly but um I did borrow a air compressor and I have it hooked up and I'm getting ready to hook it up to that pressure test gauge that I do have and I'm gonna run it at 20 psi and see over time how much it leaks and I'm also gonna test the areas because I also got myself a really cheap spray bottle and I filled it with Dawn dish detergent uh, just a light layer of it and water so I should see bubbles hopefully this works guys you can probably hear there's a leak right there because I didn't tighten one of them well enough so I'm going to fix it and then I'm going to continue looking. I'll put it in time lapse because I don't want to do that whole long issue for you. I'm glad I tested first because I mistakenly forgot to put tape right there to right here. So it was giving a leak even though it was the tightest it could go. It was still giving a leak so now I'm going to fix it. From what I can tell this um, inside section, which is the 92% of it, is good. From what I can tell just now, it's rudimentary, um, which means with no excessive knowledge or anything, it's very just a look and see kind of thing. That's what rudimentary means. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is uh, check and watch the PSI for a while and make sure, basically a time test, to make sure it doesn't lose more than two PSI, two PSI over 25 to 30 minutes, I think was the code, which I, I don't have to deal with codes, but yeah. It was losing a little bit of air in a short while. So I sprayed this and I found that uh, this is actually having a leak. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to tighten this as best I can to make sure that it does not give me any leakage. 
so it gives me a more accurate measurement. It was still dropping minutely, so I'm going to continue searching. Here I go again. I have to do this quick because my battery's about to die. But. I now have fire. That is beautiful to me. Accomplished. And it lasted good on 14 PSI for 23 minutes it didn't falter even a percentage honestly so i felt pretty good about that i'm gonna go turn some stuff back and yeah we'll see from there i'll see you guys tomorrow